Are serial killers born or made? Are serial killers born or made? It is, is it nature or nurture, or is it just a combination of the two? There are physical, genetic, and emotional factors that can all contribute to the creation of a serial killer. As a society, we find ourselves questioning human nature. This is especially true when it comes to a moral gray zone, and serial killers are one of the most commonly debated subjects within this topic. This is the question we find ourselves desiring the answer to at some point during our lives. After reading into this topic extensively, I was able to reflect that there is no singular factor we can blame for creating some serial killers. There are children with low MAOA levels that had great childhoods and didn't end up seriously hurting anybody, and there are kids who were abused who didn't either. It is certain conditions added together in different ways that pushes people to such violence. The main factors I've found that have the greatest impact on who a child becomes in the sense of becoming or not becoming a, a serial killer are mental predisposition, physical conditions, or trauma, their genetic composition, and the traumas in their childhoods. These things are the most common trends found in serial killers, allowing us to take the slightest peek at what caused them to become the way they are, even if we never fully quite understand them. Some people believe that a serial killer is formed through their genetic composition. Um, the main theory I found during my research had to do with one's level of monoamine oxidase A, also known as MAOA in one's genetic code. The theory was that people with lower levels of MAOA have more aggression and can't control their aggressive impulses when triggered, whereas people with higher levels show less aggression. This highly aggressive behavior is associated with violent crimes. After examining the levels within people who show extreme aggressive behavior versus those who don't, it was discovered that this theory lines up rather well with the results, allowing us to conclude that there's at least a high probability that many serial killers would also have very low MAOA levels. There are also some people who believe that the formation of a serial killer has much to do with their history. After looking through the past of a multitude of killers, it was discovered that there is a common trend of childhood traumas in the early lives of killers. The trauma ranges from mental disorders or illnesses, brain injuries, child abuse, um, sexual assault, emotional or physical absence of a parent, exposure to other forms of violence and exposure to substance abuse. Because of the fact that they're exposed to such violence and illness as children, they begin to think that this is normal and want to do the same things to others that they saw or were done to them. This can create an unhealthy connection in the brain between love and pain that can eventually spin out of control. There are very few killers that they found that weren't proven to fit this trend, such as Ted Bundy. It's impossible to prove or disprove this theory, but science points to the fact that it has some kind of contributing factor in the formation of a killer. Too many killers have this in common to sum it up to pure coincidence. But there are also the rare exception, which leads me to the conclusion that it's a multitude of different things combined that create a killer. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video.